So first we need to select what we're going to add to our timeline. Just drag it and drop it to add it to the timeline. But now we need a background. So I'm going to make a white background. I select it. Click on the info window and then uh, change the background color. And I'm going to select an actual color that I want it to be like from the actual video. Now I need to trim those edges. Get rid of the uh, light boxes. So look at the crop. Trim the left off and trim the right off. But you can see that it's not all the same color, so I need to add a keyer effect. I drag that on top of the video. It tries to do something automatic, but I don't like that. So I turn off the strength. And then I select a section of my background that I want to key and get rid of as an example. And I'll go ahead and select another section. I'll click on the mat to see what's getting keyed and what's not. As I change the strength, you can see how it changes. So since I didn't have anything good there, I'm going to go ahead and select another section. There we go, that looks pretty good. And I'll click Option, and click on those other two and get rid of them. Now when I go back to the mat, you can see it looks a lot nicer. I still see a little bit of white A little bit of white around my face. So I'll zoom in just to make sure. Yeah, there we go. And just check the edges. Now the uh, the shirt has white on it that's been keyed out a little bit so it doesn't look that, that great. So now you see that we get the grays on the bottom left and the upper right. So I'll add a mask to get rid of those. So I'll just move the corners around that section and then I'm going to invert the mask. So I'm going to minimize that, maximize the actual mask and then invert Okay, so now it's all gone. And I need to do the same thing to the upper right section of gray. So I'm inverting. There we go. Now I've got me against a white background. You might want to change the color a little bit later, but that's a simple how to create an infinite white background.